Alright, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the RTX 3090's performance in Unreal Engine 4. Now, a lot of people are really curious to see how the RTX 3090 is performing in Unreal Engine 4. Now, there's a couple of maps I couldn't open when I had the 1080 Ti. It just could not take it. And one of them is the Mega Scans Goddess Temple. This is a free project that you can download. And as far as I know, if you go to the questions here, honestly, there's not a lot of people that was... They, there's not a lot of people out there that can actually open this with their current rig before the 3 series. Um, I think you probably had a needed a 2080 Ti for it and whatnot. So uh, with that being said, that's what we're going to be looking at right now. And we do have GPU-Z right here. Uh, th thanks to uh, Lee for letting me know that GPU-Z works with uh, Unreal Engine 4 because it runs in the background 24-7, not like MSI Afterburner. So this is what you're looking at. And we're going to play around in Unreal Engine 4 in this project to see... Um, what the RTX 3090 is doing. All right, let's go ahead and I already have the project created So let's go ahead and just open it up. Okay, and as you guys can see it opened up without any problems whatsoever And I know some of you guys were wondering what kind of CPU I have I have a Ryzen Threadripper 1950X which is three years old uh, So a lot of people are actually curious to see if that's bottlenecking the 3090 But I should have an Intel 10 900K coming in. I'm getting a whole new system um, as far as CPU and everything in the 3090, of course, because I'm um, just upgrading. I mean, it's been three years, almost four years, so that's what we're going to be doing. All right, so what we're going to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and walk around, and you guys can kind of check out. Right now, it's using 55% load on the GPU itself, and I have the average memory that it's using, which is pretty low, to be honest. Uh, let's check out some settings. Let's go here. Scalability is a cinematic 100%. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the show FPS so we can kind of see what we're working with here. Let's go ahead and read what this is. This is not a game level. It was built to showcase. All right, so it is not a 360 level, meaning it's not for games. It's mostly for cinematic or short films, which honestly, when I saw the commercial and the ad for this um, for this environment, I was absolutely blown away. And that's what we're going to be doing is uh, they actually saved the sequence and the cameras for that ad and see if we can kind of mimic that and see how well my computer is going to take this. Uh, so you can see right there, it's cranking up to 63% as we kind of go in here. Um, so it is working a little bit and it looks like my GPU temp is about 65 Celsius. I don't have any ceiling fans on. This is all the computer's fan. So uh, you got some texturing, lighting, particles. I mean, this map looks absolutely amazing so this is this is pretty much the future guys so we're gonna take a look here uh as you can see that's why they say it's not 360 because you can see that it's great texture great texture really just to block the light there but look at this thing this looks amazing and like i said i was not able to open up the uh this map with a 1080 ti so you can see it's cranking up to about 45 60 ish that's pretty much what it's averaging can i change this to average yeah, there you go. 33 is average. I don't know if that's the right one that you guys want to see. Or you guys just want to see that. Turn it off maybe. So that's what it looks like. It looks amazing. So like I said, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find the cinematics they have. So we got a broken column right here. Right? And what I'm going to do is, that's kind of blocking the way here. Let me go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. Alright, so I'm going to go delete, delete, delete. I'm going to delete all the text and just run it. Um, if you want to test out your graphics card, download this and see, you know, what I'm talking about. Why can't I select that one? Maybe just unlit. No! Unlit just jacks it up. I don't know. There's like a... I think... Oh, there you go. Boom. Commentary backs. Alright, so what we'll do is um, go through it again. So let's go to the sequence rework. And it's camera actor 3. And then we're going to go to cinematic viewport. And let's go ahead and play that back. Alright absolutely that looks good it is a little bit choppy man that's some good stuff it's amazing work i just can't wait until like the mega scans library gets a little bit bigger because right now there's a lot of stuff in there but you know there's just not a lot of stuff that i need but that's 25 frames per second, man. That is absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at the candle scene again. That's the camera actor 6. 
Yeah, this one is running at 40, 50 frames per second using 74% of the GPU load. That is amazing. Amazing. Really impressed with a 3090. So if you are, I mean, <laughs> look at that. Look at all those lights. Um, if you are thinking about upgrading to the 3090 for fourteen hundred dollars if you can get it for fourteen hundred dollars it is a no-brainer because if you think about it the i believe the titan was twenty five hundred dollars and the rtx 3090 is like much better than that so in a way for four fourteen hundred dollars that is absolutely amazing and if you want to wait i guess you can get the 30 uh 3080 ti but that's totally up to you. Uh, I'm just going to take a look at their um, ray tracing stuff here. It looks like they don't even have GI on. Which well, is kind of crazy because this looks amazing. They don't have uh, ray trace GI. So guess what we're going to do. And they don't even have reflections turned on. What? What? Let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's break this computer real quick. Alright. Let's, let's stand right here. Let's start breaking this map. All right, so we're probably going to crash here, but this is the end of the video anyway. So let's go ahead and start cranking some settings here. Let's turn on GI. Let's do a brute force is okay. And then we'll do some ray tracing ref uh, reflection. Doesn't even have uh, screen space. So it's weird. So let's go. Oh, not that one. Sorry. This one. Oh, it does have it, but not turned on. So let's go max balances, sample per pixel, and let's go to like 0.6. And look at our FPS now. That's still looking good. Let's go to our main sequence. Camera character 3. Actor 3. Okay. Um, let's crack this to 12. 12 is my favorite number. Maybe it's off. That's not really doing much. Um, if you go right here. Windows. You go to content or developer tools. You go to output log. This is where you can input your console commands. Like, you know, like texture streaming. If you get like that error that you need to increase your pool, just change it right here. You know, change it right there and you just put whatever megabytes you have in your graphics card. But I usually turn texture streaming off. But let's take a look to see if they even have uh, ray tracing. Because sometimes they have it on. Okay, so it, it is on. It is on. But that's just not there. Difference between hard shadows and area shadows. So, yeah, let's keep cracking this up. So, we got brute force. We have ambient inclusion. Um, radius is pretty big. Let's do global illumination. Let's do, like, 12. I'm just trying to break this map, guys. That's really that's all I'm doing here. Let's do 24. the heck? 48. I don't know why it's not breaking. It, this doesn't make any sense. Um, let's go ahead and press play. Either this thing was like optimized amazingly, not even a word, or I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think ray tracing is actually, it's not doing anything unless it, it is enabled right here and the blend weight is one. So it should work. I mean, it is a small scene, but that's interesting. All right, I'm gonna go for I'm, I'm gonna go for broke guys. Let's go with uh, 64. This is the maximum. They didn't even touch it, so I don't know. Maybe it's limited. One thing I can notice is if I increase the bounce, no, it's not, it's not really changing. I mean, it is taking a hit. Okay. Let's do. 12 do final gather and i'm just messing around here guys i'm trying to break the scene but it's not breaking that's insane there you go there you go there you go it's breaking there a little bit and i'm, I'm using 84 percent of the gpu now 80 80 ish so that's that's pretty that's pretty crazy uh and then if i go to candles i like the scene actually the candles was pretty cool too so if you go to six is this the candles? Yeah, it is. This is this is a really nice one as well. But yeah, the, the 3090 doesn't have an issue at all. Playing this back. This is actually really impressive. We had it.
85, 87% GPU load. Awesome. If I press play, it's pretty dark. But that's what happens right there. Um, I did drop in a third person player. So let, let me take a look. Because see, that's, that just changed it. Let's go to show FPS. Now it's like slow. So maybe now that's actually taking effect. Because right now, there you go. We're at 99% usage. And this GPU is probably going to set on fire. There it is. That's what we wanted to see. So I just had to get out of the sequencer. So I guess the sequencer are like... Made it so that it doesn't change the effects. But this is it right here. This is what I wanted to do. 99% GPU load. Insane. Look at that. Woo! Boy. That is pretty. I don't think you're going to be able to like render anything out of this. Not like, not like this crazy. You're definitely going to have to turn something down. But that is cool. Can we open it in a new there? There. Like a standalone? Well, that's so, so dark. That's weird the way they have it set up. But yeah, guys. That's pretty much it. You kind of saw what or how the RTX 3090 performed in this amazing environment that Megascan and Epic Games uh, collaborated on. Truly amazing. It looks amazing. And we're at 100% GPU load. And the GPU temp is at 73 Celsius now. And yeah, that's, that's dying there. All right. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys later.